Hello guys, welcome to my next vlog. I'm so excited because we're starting off my summer series. If you didn't see my last vlog, my vlogs this summer are gonna be centered around the summer of being your best self. We love a motivational speaker. Kicking it off, I'm going to hang out with my mom. My mom and I are going on a little adventure today. So you guys will get a little Paula, she's great. We're gonna go grab a coffee and a bite to eat and then um, go on a little hike kind of thing, which like, she's not a hiker. We're just gonna like go to a cool viewpoint and walk to a suspension bridge at a state park. So yeah, it should be fun. I still think I might work out later at the gym. So I don't think we're gonna do like any intense, intense hiking, but I'm wearing my Gymshark um, Energy Seamless Purple leggings with this cropped hoodie from Shein that has the like tulip back if you can see. Can you see? I don't know, I just cracked my neck. I might throw on the denim jacket over it just for warmth because the great outdoors in Oregon are not necessarily warm. Just thought I'd do a little intro. I'm excited. Let's get it. I really gotta stop doing this thing. Like why do I, why? We're just parked and we're being adventurous gals today. How are you feeling? Scared. I don't think I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, you know, I just think hiking. it's funny because I don't think I've ever been on a hike with you. With me? Yeah, like when I'm, no, I'm not good at hiking. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a lot of parents like force their kids on camping trips and hiking and stuff, but we just never did that even though we live in a very like naturey place where people come to do that. <laughs> I did so much camping as a kid. Oh yeah, so you didn't want to be that parent that did the same thing. I enjoyed it though when I was a kid. But now not so much. But, well, but then she became high maintenance there and there's no actually, turning back. The weather actually got warm. Mm -hmm. We'd catch the rainbow trout, uh -huh. take it back to the campsite and my mom would cook it up. That reminds me of Parent Trap when she's like, what's for dinner? And they're like, trout. Do do, do do, do do. Oh, this is neat though. Yeah, this is a, the true Oregon experience I feel. Oh this look at this cute little beautiful. creek. Wow. We're just getting into this trail and already. How cool. Oh, this time. I'm sure I've been here before. Oh, this time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah this is not even far from us. This goes to the beach, but we saw cool pictures of a suspension bridge, so that's what we're hoping to find. Okay, how old do we think this giant tree is? Here, you should go hug it for reference so you can see how big this is. Since you're such a tree hugger. <laughs> Your wingspan doesn't even cover it. Yeah. <laughs> I bet we could find bigger ones on this trail. A natural bench. We love nature. Nature. <laughs> she is so fascinated. Mom, you live in Oregon. You've seen so many trees in your life. We found the bridge. Look at her go. So pretty right over this creek. The sun was out, but then this cloud kind of overtook it. But you know, just hanging out. Such a cute little creek. Merlets. Marbled merlets spend most of their lives in the ocean, but they nest in old growth forests. They fly up to 50 miles back and forth from their nest to see, but to they feed themselves and they're young. Oh my god, this otter is me or seal. Oh, who used to do that? You give everybody, turn everybody into an animal. Oh, Angel, yeah, she gave everyone um, animal names. I wonder what yours would have been. What is your spirit animal, honestly? I gave you one, huh? <laughs> comes the sun. When, it's, when the rock is soft, then the water is able to eat it away. More so than the salt or the drugs. stronger and denser, it doesn't give way to the water, whereas the softer rock gives way. It makes it, you know, carves in its coat. Oh, you're talking about how this was formed, this whole okay, this inlet. The girl's literally collecting the driftwood. I don't know what she's looking for, but she's looking for a needle in a haystack. Yeah. <laughs> she's gathering. I've never fire. seen, yeah, I've never seen so much driftwood in one spot. It's just so weird looking. I'm driving back from the gym, and I just had to film it even out my dirty window, cause like, just look. I got way too much on my mental. Like, are you kidding me? It's so gorgeous. Everything but gym. This is a terrible background noise for this beautiful day, but I love it. Look at this. Look at this. 
You can do it real big, bigger than you ever done it. I want this forever, I swear I could stay whatever on it. Yay, the sun makes me so happy. You're the best I ever had. The best. I don't know if there's parking spots. Taylor Swift had a song with B.O.B. Remember B.O.B.? Where is he today? I loved him. I think my outfit's really cute today, so hopefully I can show you in the gym. I haven't really been vlogging the last couple days. A lot of people have been asking what my plans are for this summer besides my fitness goals and everything, um, but like what I'm gonna be doing, and I'm still determining that. Throwing myself into applying to internships in the summer in DC, and I know you're probably thinking, Christy, isn't it May 22nd, and didn't a lot of them like fill up in March or April? And you'd be right. <laughs> I'm not gonna go into detail as to why I'm just now applying to them. I do plan to be in DC most of the summer, and I am trying to find some sort of internship, even if it's unpaid. I haven't booked a flight back yet. A lot of people are asking like, how long are you gonna be home, blah, blah, blah. Um, a lot of things are up in the air. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. And I'm probably gonna go back to DC like right after my birthday. I think I'm gonna spend my birthday with my family. Let me know if you're this way too, but I just like don't care about my birthday. But like I'm not like doing anything special. Then I'm gonna go back to DC um, in the next couple days after that. So around June 1st. Before someone else comes in, my outfit today, I'm wearing my black to gray ombre leggings. Oh, they actually do look ombre here. I feel like they usually don't. The pink to gray sports bra ombre. Underneath this like tank top from Forever 21 that is super loose, so I tied it in the front. They're sweat looking one. It's a racer back. I'm gonna take off my sunglasses and do a little bit of leg day. I'm at the beach right now, taking a walk after the gym, and I just came across this rock used to be connected. Like you see this giant canyon in the middle of them. I hope you're not covering the microphone. Um, like when I was a kid, it used to be one big, I don't know how it's like see that? That was never there. This was like up and connected to this one. Like it was one big thing. There was like a gap in it that we had to like climb over when we climbed on top of it. But I never thought that it would like collapse off of it. Like I wonder how that happened and what it looked like. I would pay money for a video for that. I used to climb onto this one. Like they were right next to each other, like so close. It is a beautiful sunset. This is the life. So I'm gonna try and climb up and see what it looks like now on that side. But like, ah, oh, this is so weird to walk between them. It feels so wrong. But now I can come through when it's high tide like this. They used to call this Pride Rock because it reminded us of the Lion King where they stood on the big rock. And we called that one Dinosaur Rock because it looked like a dinosaur's head just like slowly coming out of the ocean. I made it onto the rock. Oh, just girly things. I'm literally tomato. I'm going to not show my face. from Amazon. I purchased the Jue Slim Cream Eyeliner in brown. I think it's just called matte brown. Yeah, matte brown because you guys, I wear brown eyeliner almost every single day now and I got this for free. Jue sent me their PR stuff in January, I want to say, and um, they sent me multiple colors and I went through the brown one and used the entire thing and I loved it so much. I have not found a better, um, like just matte brown eyeliner that doesn't it just didn't smudge off it was so pigmented and i loved it so i just thought it was notable because usually if youtubers get things for free they'll like try them out and then don't get them again but if it's something that they buy or like i bought this myself with my own money because i loved it that much so if you're looking for brown eyeliner i would definitely check it out she way hello so it is wednesday evening oh i thought she was just gonna look at the menu my mom and i are gonna go get dinner together she just ran in to check the menu of a place that's what's happening <laughs> and now dwight no 
clothes, not to cut the face off of a real person. <laughs> Guys, my favorite episode of The Office is on. I miss the good, like, opening scene, but it's still I can't. Comment down below what your favorite episode of The Office is. So I mentioned this on my Fit Insta, but I thought I'd mention it in a vlog. But my parents got these things from Costco, Jenny's Organic Coconut Bites. This is made on shared dairy equipment, but that doesn't really bother me. Coconut bites with a little bit of dark chocolate, cranberries, goji berries, chia seeds, and they're really yummy. They're individually wrapped. They look like this. It's like a good size. I don't know. It's just like a random thing my parents got. Here we have a sweet potato. And you might think, wow, that looks lighter than most sweet potatoes. Because look, there's a picture of a sweet potato. And this is not the same color. Um, yeah, my mom got these. And I was like, mom, is that a sweet potato? She's like, yeah. I'm like, no, it's not. And she's like, you, you must be used to eating yams. And I thought they were the same thing. <laughs> is anyone else confused by this phenomenon? Anyway, I'm going to make this with a salmon burger because my parents have the same Costco salmon burgers, bless their souls. Stab it, get all your frustration out. <laughs> Let's give it six minutes. This is what it looks like, it's a sweet potato. Oh, hello. And my salmon burger. I just wanted to um, kind of close up this vlog with a little chat. Anyway, I just want to say thank you for being patient with me. It's just weird that now that I'm not in classes and stuff, I'm filming less. It's been good for me to kind of like sit back for a minute um, and just like stop and think and kind of reorganize my life and figure everything out that I'm doing where I want to be. I think it's been good for me to just kind of like chill for a minute once I'm home. I have missed some days in this vlog and it's been kind of all over the place. I'm just like still figuring things out in a transition phase. Everything's still kind of up in the air for this summer, like I mentioned earlier. So I just want to say that like, if you don't have everything figured out at every second, it's okay. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. I still am planning to go back to DC um, next week. So that's kind of just like my explanation um, from earlier why I'm still home. And I am here longer than I thought I would be, but honestly, like it just doesn't, I'm not in a rush to get back to DC because there's not like a certain date, a deadline that I have to be there for yet. I don't know, I'm kind of struggling with balancing things not like there's so much on my plate right this second but like figuring out how i want to balance things in the future because in the past i've chosen you know like in the last semester and everything i've chosen to you know spend my time outside of class doing youtube as my kind of like part-time job instead of having an internship in the field that I want to work in and not that I regret that at all like I love having more time to make vlogs for you guys and like vlogging my life um but it's just like different I feel like than a lot of people who are trying to do what I'm doing I love YouTube and I obviously like want to keep doing YouTube it's not like I'm gonna stop at all but um it's just kind of I'm getting to the point where I need to decide like where I want to put my time and I think everyone can relate to that it's some extent in their life is prioritizing and figuring out like what is most important and what they need to be doing in a specific time so anyway <laughs> i don't even think this made sense but I mean, it's just thoughts going in my head so thanks for sticking with me and watching my vlogs i will definitely be vlogging more consistently i've just definitely needed this week the last couple weeks while i'm here i love you i thank you so much for supporting me and i will see you in my next vlog which will be very soon i'm actually filming with my mom i'm about to start a new vlog because um she is going to she makes this really good gluten-free dairy-free like tastes like normal banana bread and i can't wait to share it with you guys so i'm gonna film like me and my mom cooking together um for my next vlog and we're gonna do that today so i'm really excited um and i have a bunch of like stuff coming and i know i'm gonna do my grad school video still and i have like things in the works so um i'm gonna be uploading a lot more but just figuring things out so thanks for watching i'll see you in my next vlog peace out girl scout oh.